inside of every aerosol can is the active ingredient. The stuff you buy the can for. In this case, air freshener. Also in the can is this compressed gas, which we call a propellant, because it propels or shoots the active ingredient in the can out of the can. The propellant pushes out in all directions. One of the directions it pushes is down on the active ingredient. When we push on the push button, or activator, we open the door to the can. The propellant propels the ingredients up this thingy here, called the dip tube, and out of the can. Aerosol cans used to be bad for the environment, but nowadays, their propellants don't contain gases that hurt the ozone layer. Let me hit you to the pushing power of compressed gas. Pendulum! To make your own compressed gas sprayer, here's what you need. A plastic soda bottle, a cork, some water, blister, a plastic eyedropper with a little squeezy thing pulled off, a long straw, some chewed up chewing gum, don't, ow, oh, a grown-up's power drill, and a grown-up. <laughs> Experiments should be performed at home only with adult supervision and all appropriate safety precautions should be taken. All directions should be followed exactly and no substitutions should be used. First, fill your soda bottle about a quarter of the way up with water. Then, take your cork and have your grown-up drill a hole in it big enough for the straw and the eyedropper to fit in snugly. Au ray, drillez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Ah, merci, Ray. Now, put the straw halfway up into the bottom of the cork and take the eyedropper and stick it into the top of the cork like this. Wrap your gum around here to make sure no air can get in or get out. Then put the whole thing in the bottle. Like this. When I blow into this eyedropper, I'll put more air into the same space. I'll compress the air. Look what happens. Whoa! Cool, huh? Hey, look how the water keeps shooting out even though I'm not blowing in there. That's the compressed air pushing the water out of the bottle. Ray, Ray! See, the water is our active ingredient. The air I blew in is the propellant. And this straw is the dip tube. The compressed air pushes down on the water. The water has no place to go but up the dip tube and out the top. So, Justin Forsythe-Fandetti of Cambridge, Mass. That's how aerosol cans work. You bet your... <laughs> Ask me all...